Hi everyone, good afternoon. Well, it's afternoon when I'm filming this video on Bank Holiday Monday, the 25th of May, 2020. Uh, thanks for joining me for another video. And before we kick off, I would just wanna say that this video would not be possible without the generosity of my good friend, David G4NRT, who's loaned me a couple of Begali keys for the next video or two. Um, this week we're going to be talking about another member of the sculpture range, um, not the iambic paddles uh, or the sculpture swing, um, but we're going to be talking about their straight key. I know we've covered some really nice straight keys in the past, but this one is an absolute cracker and I'm sure you will agree when we get down to it. Uh, so which key am I talking about this week? By popular demand, we're going to be talking about the Sculpture Arrow. Well, there she is. Beautiful looking key. Uh, sculpture Arrow. Um, one of the finest straight keys I think you can buy. As the call sign on the side shows, this one belongs to David, G4NRT. And... Um, let me give you some specs about the key. The, uh, the base from back to front is 125 millimeters. Um, from left to right, it is 78 and a half millimeters. And uh, the height of the key from the desk to the top of the knob is 56.7 millimeters. Um, so it's uh, quite, a, quite a key and um, it weighs a fair amount too. It's 2.2 kilograms of stainless steel beauty. Um, it's got a couple of really interesting features which I don't think you'll find on many other keys. Um, and that's to do with these adjustment screws on the top. This one at the back here, this will adjust your contact gap. And I can hear you saying now, well, pretty much every straight key in the world's got that, which is true. Um, but a lot of other straight keys that use springs and magnets, um, you can only adjust the tension um, with one adjustment. This one has two. So this one and this one are for adjusting the tension of the key. So this one in the middle, is your repelling magnet and this one here is your attracting magnet so not only can you adjust the amount of force that you need to activate the key but you can adjust the rate of return as well and I think that's a really interesting concept and a very interesting idea and one that um, uh, I certainly enjoyed playing with in the past now I must let you into a little secret I used to actually own one of these keys but um, circumstances dictated a couple of years ago that I had to um, sacrifice some of my collection. And unfortunately, uh, I sold my Sculpture Arrow and I've bloody regretted it ever since. But I know it's gone to a good home. Uh, my, my good friend Pete N5KD over in Texas uh, has the key now and one of my covers. And um, I know he loves it and uh, looks after it. Anyway, let's get back onto this key here. It's got your navy style knob, very similar to the one that you'll find on the Spark and on the blade as well. Uh, and it makes for a very nice, very nice feel indeed. Um, this one comes pre-wired, as you can see. It has the uh, socket already built in, so there's no, no wiring needed. It comes pre-adjusted. Now I know everybody's tastes are different, but you can take it out of the box, plug it in using the supplied lead and just tap away to your heart's content. So another interesting feature is it doesn't come with rubber feet. Well, it does come with rubber feet, but you also get this rubber gasket which you can seat in a little slot around the key and what that does is provide you with almost limpet like um, stability you do get a small bag 
in the package with some little rubber feet if you preferred to use that. Now it does raise the height of the key marginally because the, the feet are slightly taller than the exposed rubber but I don't think you would really notice it. But if you preferred to have four or five feet um, on the surface of the uh, desk as opposed to this rubber gasket around the edge, then you can swap, swap them over. And I think that's really nice. They give you the option uh, to do that. Uh, as you can see, it comes pre-wired, very neat, signed by Piero and your serial number there. So, what I'll do, as in other videos, I'll uh, plug it into the Tentec, and um, as I say, it is Bank Holiday Monday. There is lots of stations on. I'm just looking at the reverse beacon network, and it is absolutely buzzing. So I'm hoping that I might be able to pick up a contact or two, and uh, obviously we'll get some on camera so you can see close up what the key is like uh, being used in anger. So some success there with the contact with uh, Arne up there in Oslo, Lima Alpha 1, Quebec Alpha Alpha. Uh, conditions weren't brilliant, bit of QSB, he was 5-6 um, at best, but um, nevertheless gave you a chance to have a look at what the Sculpture Arrow is like in a QSO. Um, I must confess this is my third take on the final uh, part of this video. Um, the first one wasn't framed right. The video top of the video is here um, the second one i'll just make sure i'm not doing the same my necklace was interfering with the microphone um, and every time i turned my head um, you heard this chain rattling across the mic hopefully that's not happening now um, and this is the third so there we go um, next week we're going to be having a look at um, what's in this box which uh, david has sent down um, we've got the sculpture mono coming up in a couple of weeks time um, and David has actually sent me down his um, dinky tiny little keys they're the adventure and the adventure mono so um, have a look at those little bad boys they're little crackers they are I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wire them up to my radio yet um, I might have to make an adapter lead to go on from here to the thing um, but he sent me his um, little adventure and also the adventure mono as well which is um, oh that is the adventure mono and the adventure um, paddles and also he's included the magnetic base so we'll give those a look next week and uh, so look out for that that will be um, that'll be on the 5th of June that video will be released at 7 o'clock next Friday the 5th of June um, David's also included, which I have no way to to test, um, 
a little adapter for the Elecraft uh, KX3 key, which is this little adapter here. Um, screws into the underside of the um, key. But we'll go through that next, next video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, have a look at the Begali website for more details on pricing and, uh, and that on there. It gives you more information about the, the uh, contacts and how to remove blemishes and things. Uh, www.i2rtf.com uh, alternatively, or as well as, have a look at my website, www.g0pnm.uk, where you can find details of my bespoke covers that I make for Begali keys primarily, but I can make a cover for pretty much any key. And um, items such as this, the uh, LED color changing sign for your shack. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. and. Uh, Stay safe, have fun with CW, and we'll see you on the bands. Take care. Bye-bye.